Hey guys, it's Kevin Lee. So today we're gonna be talking about hand wraps. So stay tuned. So with the hand wraps, it actually comes in two very uh, two different sizes, right? You can get it in 120 or 180, right? Um, depending on hand size, depends on you know if you have smaller hand or bigger hands, you might want to choose between the 120, which is technically sh uh, shorter, or there's a 180, which is technically longer, right? If you're a heavier striker, you want you might want some more padding on your wrist or maybe your uh, your knuckle as well, right? So what I'm gonna talk about today is actually how to wrap your hands, and I'm gonna talk about how you can actually store your hand wrap, okay? So. When you purchase hand wrap, they will come in and look like this, right? And what you're gonna see is there is a Velcro on the outside, basically helps you, you know, helps you to store them and put them anywhere. But when it comes to wrapping the hands, this is actually a lot harder to do because you gotta unwrap them and then roll them out, right? So let's put it on the side for a second, okay? This is how we actually prefer to store your hand wraps, right? So this is basically wrapped inside out. You're gonna see the little loop, it's on the outside instead of on the inside. So when you start wrapping the hands, you can start using, depending if you want to use a loop or not, you can actually loop on your thumb, right? You can go downwards, inside, outside, depending on how you wrap them. And you can just kind of sort of hold on to the rest of this and just kind of go around it, right? So this is kind of a, a very easy way to kind of store your hand wrap, and which is kind of the way I recommend people to do. But there's a lot of people who still prefer to go back to the, you know, kind of like how it comes, just kind of easy to store so they don't kind of flop out, right? And you want to make sure that when you get your hand wraps, right? Like mine doesn't have like telling you this is inside with this outside with this one stays on top, this one stays on the bottom. The way you can tell if you have a hand wrap like mine, which it doesn't tell you anything, you wanna make sure you look on the inside of the, the loop, right? So you kinda see the seam that goes like this. So when you see the attachment like this, sort of like on the, on the inside, that's how you know this side will actually face inside of your of your wrist. So whenever I have the loop on, right, you wanna make sure the one that has the attachment goes towards your hand like that okay not this way you don't want to make sure you don't flip this way it actually goes inwards like that so you don't actually see the attachment okay so this is how i prefer to store the hands okay and don't forget that there are so many different ways that you can wrap your hand some people prefer to use this uh, loop right here a lot of people don't i've seen a lot of people when they start wrapping the hand they just kind of use a hand sort of go like this to create sort of more of a padding around the knuckles right so it is totally up to you there's no wrong way of doing it because everybody has a different preference right and i remember when i was in the camp there's four different structures will teach you four different ways. You know, it's it's all based on personal preference. So, so there's no a uh, uh, you know an argument saying that you should go this way, you should go downwards, you should go inside, or maybe somebody just bypass the loop and just go straight into the knuckle like that. So, either way, it's okay. They all you know it's all based on personal preference. And if you want to know more about hand wraps, uh, we're gonna show you. We have a special guest, and she's gonna be teaching you how to wrap your hands. Hey guys, this is Jackie Bunton. I'm gonna show you how I wrap my hands. It's not really a traditional way of wrapping hands, but this is how I've been doing it ever since I started Muay Thai. And you know, 13 years later, it's never given me any problems. So we'll go straight to it. I like to start with the thumb loop through the thumb and we're gonna go around the, uh, around the wrist three times. One, two, three. And from here, I'm just go straight and make my knuckle pad. So depending how long your wraps are, you know, it can vary, but I'll do about six wraps around the knuckles and I tend to put the pad a bit higher. So I'll start the pad in the middle of the knuckles just because when I put the wraps through my fingers, it slides down. So under the thumb, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now from here, you should end up by the pinky. We're gonna go down under the thumb, and now we're gonna create the wrap going through each finger. So starting with the pinky finger, again, bring it back under the thumb. Middle, under the thumb, index, under the thumb. And like I said, the pad will just naturally go down. So from here, we're gonna make an X motion and pretty much secure the rest of the wrap. So I'm gonna first start with around the knuckle, behind the pinky, back down under the thumb, and repeat that. So index, pinky, thumb, again, index, pinky, and thumb. And from here, when you kind of are running, uh, running out of wrap, we're gonna work, work our way down to the wrist and just secure everything from there. So, there you go. And that's how I wrap my hands.